Hey guys, so we're here with Lily Galici from Shaws of Sunset. Hi everyone. And everyone's so excited because I know everyone follows you on Instagram. They love your hair, your makeup. No. So what are your like signature things is your hair all the time? Yes, I uh. love big hair. <laughs> So you get this big hair not by wearing extensions and all the time, but you do clip an extension. I do. So my own hair is not this long or this full. Mm -hmm. I have great hair, but I like super glamorous, big Texas <laughs> hair. That's no secret. So my secret behind the big hair are clip-in extensions. So you have your own line of clip-in extensions. You were wearing some before though, right? But you were combining packs. Yeah, so I've worn clip-in extensions for years, but because I like my hair to be so thick and full, I would actually have to buy two packs Oh and God. wear two packs <laughs> to get the look that I wanted. So yeah. finally I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a line of extensions mm -hmm. that has enough hair and is thick enough to achieve my look with just one pack. Cool, well, let's take a look. I just got mine, so I haven't even opened them up yet. So this is the box. It's Lily Hair from Bellamy Hair, right? Yes. And so we'll go through this and you can just tell me what is in this box. So this is actually the hair and okay. it's 260 grams. For those of you that know about hair extensions, that's a lot of hair. The uh -huh. average hair extension pack is 120 grams to 130 grams. So this is more than twice oh my God. your average hair. This is a lot of hair. It's a <laughs> lot of hair. It's, oh, it's very long. It's long, it's soft, it's 100% human mm -hmm. hair. Um, that way you can style it, you can process it, you can mm -hmm. do anything you want to it. Like that's a lot of hair. That's a lot of hair. And it's 20 inches long. Mm -hmm. I've heard a lot of people say, oh, that's not long enough, that's not long enough. Yeah. It's long. Um, yeah, it's definitely long. I didn't want to go any longer. Even the yeah. 20 inches, I cut them. Yeah. Um, as the first time I used them, I have my hairstylist cut them to a shorter length for me, yeah. but I wanted to make them this long so that everybody could wear so them. So you like them because of the thickness then? The thickness. Yeah. Um, I want full hair. Yeah. I'm not so concerned about having hair you know, down to my belly button. I want the big, voluminous hair. So that's what this can do, so you can clip these in. So if I want to put them in, there's how many pieces here? So, there's a lot. I <laughs> eliminated the singles. Yeah. So, most hair extension packs will come, like see this one has two clips. Yeah. Um, usually, hair extension packs will come with one clip. Just like one awkward piece Yeah, right <laughs> and I just felt like that was a waste in your pack. There was usually two or three yeah. of them. I never use them. You can't really create much volume with them. So, I eliminated that and you get a two instead. <laughs> So we have one, two, three. <laughs> three that have three clips. Mm -hmm. You have two, two that ones. have four clips. And, and then the twos. Perfect. Well, this is so much hair. What I A like lot. the most though, my hair always gets tangled. So you guys were so smart to do this hanger. Absolutely. This is like the best invention ever because I'm always like dangling. I have like a drawer full of hair and it's like ratted up together. That was my problem. So I have so many extensions and the good thing about extensions is this is not a product you wear once or twice. Yeah. This is a product you keep for years and years and years and years and years. Yeah. So I'm throwing mine in a drawer too. I'm putting them in bags. They're getting ratted. They're getting tangled. So we wanted to do something different and we thought that the hair hanger would be the best way. That way you could hang it up. It would stay detangled. It would stay yeah. straight. And then we took it a step further mm -hmm. because I traveled. <laughs> I travel a lot and I take my hair. So we made a cute it's little so cute. hair carrying case and your hanger just goes right in there. It's perfect because okay. really I never know what to do with mine so I used to put mine in a Ziploc bag. Me too! I put it in a Ziploc bag and then like throw it in my suitcase and it'd like be fixing it. But what I like about this is because you can, when you wash it, you can dry it on there too. So you can yeah. like clip it to something. And it's also good for styling it. Mm -hmm. um, those of you that have worn clipping and extensions know it's kind of hard to style them. Yeah. This, you just clip it in, hang it, and then you can curl it. Perfect. So now that I have the hair, what are some like aftercare tips for clipping extensions? So you can treat it just like your own hair. Mm -hmm. You can put product in it. I don't put any mousse or anything like that in it. Mm -hmm. I just do hairspray after yeah. I'm done styling it. And then once you get, I would say, about five to six wears, it might have a lot of buildup on it if you put as much hairspray yeah. as I do. So you can just shampoo and conditioner it with any regular shampoo and conditioner. Amazing, so do you have any hair tips for like putting these in or like wearing them or your favorite styles? So I want big. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I try to put them as high as possible yeah. because I want a lot of volume. Um, 
Other than that, I like to wear them curly. You can wear them straight, you can yeah. wear them however you want. And they come in like basically every hair color, right? So we're working also on an ombre range mm -hmm. because ombre has just become so popular yeah. and so many girls are doing it. I've always wanted to try it myself, but... It ruined my hair. <laughs> it did? Yeah, that's why I'm like... But it's so pretty. I love it. Yeah, so we figured, hey, what's a way to try it without damaging yeah. your hair with the bleach? Clip and extension. So I'm really excited to get the yeah. samples of those and to work on that range. I can't wait for those. So if people want to get the Lily hair, where can they get them? They can go to lilyhair.com or bellamy.com. Perfect. Well, check out Lily hair. And for more fashion interviews, go to modemop.com.